Hey everyone, all my hungry friends. You like the way all that delicious stuff looks? That's a lot of ingredients. But tonight we're gonna make a brown black bear meatloaf stuffed with onions, wild mushrooms, and all kinds of other great things. We're gonna show you step by step. This bear was just shot three weeks ago. My son got it. Uh, this is really good. We're gonna mix this. This recipe calls for mixing it with, uh, with some ground pork. So we've got uh, the uh, chanterelle mushrooms, white and yellow, that are wild, that are going in there, and all these other ingredients. Hey, listen, Mrs. Barbecue is going to take this over pretty soon, and I'll be back. I've just been invited on a show about a month ago, and I'm going to do that tonight. And it's called Paranormal Among Us. The host is Paul Anthony. So, hey, look, you know, I haven't done a show in a long time, and, and uh, I'm interested. He's interested in what I'm doing, and I'm interested to be a guest and I'm glad that people want to see that. So tune into that, would you? Let's get started on this meatloaf. This is black bear. This is ground pork. We've got one teaspoon Worcestershire, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of thyme, two, or a tablespoon of thyme, now I want to do this. I want to put in the mushrooms and the onion. And like I said, these are chanterelles. And these also, we're going to be sauteing uh, the other half of this onion and the rest of the chanterelles. And that was a gift from a friend of mine. So let's put in the pepper. This is a, a this is salt, this is a, uh, Imitation salt and pepper, and that is a teaspoon piece. Let's put in the two eggs. These are farm fresh, ladies and gentlemen. Farm fresh. And I just got two more dozen today. And I'm getting these, believe it or not, for $2 a dozen from uh, a lady up the road. Okay. Now these are just straight up normal breadcrumbs. Get that in there. We want to throw in a cup of milk. The breadcrumbs was one cup and one cup of milk. This is a half cup of Parmesan cheese. Now it's time to get this worked in. It smells good. I mean, it really does. I have found that bear meat is so delicious, and that has become my favorite meat. So we're probably going to do a roast real soon with them or something. We'll figure it out. I did make some wonderful jerky. They don't recommend that you make jerky with black bear because of worms and trigonosis and things like that. But uh, we don't have that so much here. And plus I froze, the meat was already frozen before I made jerky a couple weeks ago. And I found no worms in it or anything like that. And I've watched enough of these, these uh, videos to know that, you know, what to look for and all that stuff. And we do have some very healthy bears. And guess what, guys? I have been hunting them now the last two weeks. And I have had two real good opportunities and I blew it because I kind of got, you know, when you say they get buck fever, well, I got deer or a uh, bear fever and I was a little shaky. <laughs> God, it smells so good with all these ingredients. And if you haven't had bear meat, I, I would tell you to try it it's actually pretty good there's a lot to still go on this and like I said Mrs. Barbecue is going to take this over that look pretty good and mixed sure does mm -hmm. let's get this let's get this in the, the baking pan that's going to go on the pellet grill that Hopefully someday I can replace with a quality one. And folks, we've been asked about 
where can they get one of these shirts? Well, listen, this is something that we're we are trying to start making merch. We just reached a thousand subscribers, and you know, I mean, it's a if you want them, we'll find a way to get them to you. But of course, not for free. But we also make great aprons and uh, with our logo, and so it's uh, definitely would love to start selling some great things. And now some ketchup. About a half a cup. Half a cup of ketchup. So you rest of it and mine are two different things. <laughs> smells good yes. we're going to put this on the smoker at 300 degrees it's just I don't trust this this pellet grill since it blew up on us in the middle of one of our shows uh, several months ago and the company I bought it from instead of giving me a better model because this one is known for that just sent me another one exactly like it so I sent it back I just don't forget it and uh, I went ahead and fixed the fan and all that on this one and we just have to really watch it when we're you know I would not give this if, if, if I ever get a better one I'm not giving this away it's gonna go to the dump because I don't want I don't want to be responsible for somebody dying because it blew up and this is ready to after this sits a little bit, let all the ingredients kind of meld in together. And I will see you in a little while. All right, guys, Mrs. Barbecue here. We're going to put this on. Got the temperature set at 300. And we're going to cook this for about an hour, hour and 20 minutes. I have cooked up eight pieces of bacon. And now I've drained off some of the grease and I'm going to saute these wild mushrooms and onions up, then add the bacon back into it. And then we're going to set that aside and uh, save it for our next step. All right, I'm getting ready to check this again. Got Jay out here doing his podcast, so... I'm just going to check this. We're about a half an hour in. Um, I'm probably going to flip it around and let it keep cooking. Mm, it's looking really nice. Very nice. Not a lot of fat coming out of that. I'm not sure how much fat should come out of it since it's bare but um, we're gonna let it keep cooking I do have a thermometer I'll be checking it before we take it off so let's see what happens all right guys this is the same pan that I cooked that bacon in and what I'm gonna do I poured off most of the grease I've just left enough to coat the bottom of the pan and now I'm going to saute the onion and the wild mushroom. And I think I'm just going to do the split pans. It's such a big pan. Let's do them both together at the same time. And then once they start cooking, we can mix them together. And then, of course, later on, add that bacon back in. This is going to work out nice and we'll have the couple of extras that want to get in there, but do what we can to keep them separate. And I'm going to get a little bit of that bacon grease on them. And we're just going to cook them until they're tender. All right, I've been sauteing these about five minutes and I've mixed them together now. 
Um, they were getting nice and browned on their own each side, so I went ahead and mixed them together. And I'm just going to let them cook together a few more minutes. I'm not going to add any salt or pepper right now, um, but I will before I finish this off. It's cooked a few more minutes, so now I'm going to add a little bit of salt. This is actually an, an salt alternative, which isn't bad. Um, since we're going to be adding the bacon into it, that's going to add a lot of salt, so I don't want to add any excess. I just need the flavor to come out. Salt is such a flavor enhancement that it's hard not to use it. But I have found that the no salt is a good alternative. It does bring out the flavors in your foods um, like salt does. So I'm, I can't say that I even miss the salt. Of course we have salt in foods that, you know, almost all the foods come with salt already made in to it, um, if you're buying canned veggies, if you're buying um, frozen foods, it, you know, if you're buying something that's already prepared, it's got salt in it. So, um, but we're not adding any extra salt. That's all we're doing is what's already in the package is all we're using, and uh, we seem to be doing good. So, these are looking nice. So now I'm going to add the rest of this bacon. And like I said, that was about eight strips that I cooked and then crumbled up. And we are going to set this aside, let it cool, and uh, when that meatloaf is up to temp and ready for its toppings we'll be adding this on the top all right guys i've got this up to 160 degrees now i'm going to add some grated swiss cheese and this is about a cup and a half i think um I just kind of grated what looked like it would be enough to cover up the top nicely because we want a nice layer on it so that can melt over on the sides. Mm, this really smells good. I wish I could do like a scratch and sniff for you guys because it smells so good. Now on top of that, we are going to add that bacon and mushroom mixture. And we're just going to sprinkle that over the top. Let's see, I'm getting some on the sides. Wasting it! It's falling. But there's so much of it here, I think it's going to be okay. And this stuff, I did test it out. It is delicious. It's nothing like the wild mushrooms. Now I'm going to put this back on the smoker and let that cheese melt. I just took this off. That cheese has melted nicely. Mmm. Smells delicious. Looks delicious. Going to have to let it sit for a few minutes. So we'll bring you back when it's time to slice into that.
Hey, I'm back. We just got done doing a show. I told you it's Paranormal Among Us with a good host, Paul Anthony. We did an hour and a half show. Please check his channel out. Give him some support. It's a good channel. Let's cut this uh, black bear stuffed mushroom stuff. Bacon top meatloaf. That's just... Okay, the end always goes... Over here, because that's what everybody wants. <laughs> now, we have other things we're going to eat tonight. Jalapeno poppers wrapped in bacon. A few things like that. Oh my God, I'm going to leave that stuff there for the topping. Now, I'm going to pull this out and take a bite. Oh man, that looks so good. With all this delicious onions and wild mushrooms. Ready? <laughs> oh my God. Mm. Oh, I'm glad nobody's here like the kids or something not have to share this oh man oh my god let's get a mushroom all right my darling oh you lost your mushroom <clears throat> Yeah, that's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. God, we're gonna have mashed potatoes. That's really good. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm. Those onions and I have bear meat is so good. Mm. Mm. Man. And all this stuff is on the ends is candy. Mm. <laughs> oh, a little bit of that ketchup was so good. Ooh. I want to give you this with the, there you go. <laughs> Get that with the ketchup. And a mushroom. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. That's really nice. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad we don't have to share this, and that's the honest truth. Mm -hmm. This is so nice. Please like and subscribe. We do this for you every week. Thank you so much for tuning in every week. Please give Paranormal Among Us a chance. It's a good podcast. Paul's a good guy. Let me know what you think about it.